时间，没有人能够了解，在遇见你之前，不知心中什么感觉，想不顾一切，不让这份爱冷却，就算季节变换，我早已习惯，有你在才会有安全感，一瞬间仿佛能。Smart, Grandma's back. Well, aren't you going to welcome me? Come on, Smart. Jeez, what a naughty boy. <laughs> well, anyway, I forgive you, because Grandma had a great day. Oh, who could this be? Hey, old Shu, what's up? Ma Huihua, I told you to give my message to Shu Hui Chen. Did you do it? What message? I told you I wanted her to come back in three days, but she hasn't. Did you even give her my messages? Oh, that message. I did tell her. But she said you should just find a young woman. Oh, by the way, old Shu, let me remind you that the noodles at my restaurant aren't free. Oh, come on. You're kidding. Why do I have to pay for them? I was your class monitor. Hey. Even my school dean has to pay for what he eats. No one gets to eat at my place for free. I have to pay for a lot of things, like rent, water, labor, and everything to keep the noodle shop open. I can't just let you off the hook. Ma Huihua, you are both unreasonable and ungrateful. You want me to pay for your noodles, while you yourself haven't returned the eraser you borrowed from me. All right, fine. I'm unreasonable and I'm ungrateful. I'm whatever you say I am. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Just pay next time. Cheap man. Crazy woman. Chen, what's up? Are you free tomorrow, Wei Hua? Uh, you see, I wanted you to come with me while I have a physical exam. Sure, no problem. What time is it? Early in the morning. My stomach has to be empty for the blood exam. Okay, you can just wait for me at your place. I'll pick you up there. All right. All right then. Give me a call when you get here. Ah, uh, I will. See you. Shenhua. Wei Hua, I happen to have two tickets to tomorrow's art exhibit. Do you want to come with me? I see, an art exhibit, huh? That sounds great. I haven't been to the museum in ages, and the timing's convenient too. I mean, after all, my future son-in-law is a professional artist. I need to learn something about it. So what time tomorrow? I can't go in the morning, though, because I'll be at the hospital. I'm taking Wei Chen there. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Did she hang up on me? So? What time is it? The morning or the afternoon? Afternoon. Uh, two o'clock. Ah, uh, great. I can go then. I'll go there after Wei Chen is done with her physical. See you. What's going on? 
Why didn't Wei Chen ask me to go with her? Does she think I'm annoying? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. It's no fun going to the hospital. with Weihua for the physical exam. I know you don't like hospitals. I'll make some delicious food for you next time. <laughs> Wei Chen, actually, uh, I invited Weihua to see the art exhibit with me. I only got two tickets, so you can't come with us. <laughs> Ginger slices. Okay, they're ready. And there we go. Then cut the scallions into three. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Tai. Hey Ma, can you? I think my popularity's reached its peak this morning. Everybody's been calling me. Everybody needs me. What do you mean? Actually. Your Aunt Wei Chen and Aunt Shenhua just called me. This is the third call. They both wanted me to go somewhere with them. So I'm really in demand. <laughs> What's up? The thing is, I'm trying to make tomato and sirloin soup for Anyang. I googled the recipe, but I wanted to confirm it. Uh, it says here I need to cut the meat into cubes. And boil them in water for about two uh, minutes. No, and no, then... that's wrong. No, honey, Chai Yi, huh? listen to your mother. Don't boil the meat in water. Because if you but boil it, it will lose its flavor. Here's how you do it. Prepare the meat by cutting it into cubes. Heat some oil in a pot. And then saute the scallion with some ginger. But before that, remember to put the tomato ah. in hot water so that it's easy to peel. And then... Slow down. After you've peeled it, cut it and add it to the pot and mix. After that, put the meat in and fry it. You'll need to add a little water to it. Also, use low fire, and that's how tomato and sirloin is cooked. I have to peel the tomatoes? That's so hard. Did you get that? I guess. So do I cook it under low fire? Correct. Let the meat cook slowly. That way, the heat spreads evenly across it. And add some water to it. Don't forget. <sighs> All right. I got it. Hey, wait. Did you get up this early just to make this tomato and sirloin soup for Anyang? Why don't you make some ordinary porridge instead? Well, I did make some porridge, but I burned it. Even the pot was ruined, so I'm trying this. If you can't even make porridge properly, how can you make tomato and sirloin soup? It's too hard for you. It's going to turn out worse than the porridge. Oh, relax, Ma. You've already told me how to do it. Now I'm full of confidence. <laughs> Honey, listen to me. Instead of cooking for him, you should start planning your wedding. Have you set a date yet? I have no time for this, Ma. I need to go and make the soup, okay? Bye. What an ungrateful child. When will you make tomato and sirloin soup for me? Forget it. Ah! What happened? What's wrong? I just cut my finger. I'm okay. Let me see. Where is it? It's fine. Show me where. It seems... Oh! No, no, no! What should hey, I do? Be careful! Oh. Let me! Ah! Ruined. It's burned. Are you okay? Ah! Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Huh? <coughs> uh, let me do the cooking from now on. I just wanted to make breakfast for you. Okay, I'll do it. What should I do? Continue your writing. Sit down. Are you upset? 
I'm not. When we get married, there's only one thing I need from you. One thing? What is it? Married couples would sometimes disagree on something and get into an argument. I hope that whatever it is we disagree on, we could work it out by talking to each other. No loud quarreling and no silent treatment either. That's the most cruel form of violence. All right? I grew up in a family that thrived on indifference, which is why I'm so scared of marriage. I don't want ours to turn out like that of my parents. I understand. Now the first order of business is what each of us is supposed to do every morning. I'll be in charge of breakfast. You'll write your novel, and you can tell me the story as it unfolds. I also need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh, and can you throw away the burnt bread? Mm. to go inside the art museum. Uh, I'm with Wei Hua. We're going to the exhibit. Oh, you're already there? Why didn't you wait for me? Did you ask me to wait for you? Fine. Wait for me. I'm going there. What is it? Who was that? Song Shaho. Wait, he gave you the tickets? Yeah. What? Come on! Isn't it obvious he gave you those because he wanted to see it with you? He, he didn't say anything, so huh? I, I thought we could use it instead. Don't try to make light of this. You probably hurt his feelings, Shunhua. What did he say when he called? Oh, uh, he said... What? He wanted to come here. I told you he wanted to see the exhibit with you. Really, Shunhua, how can you be so thoughtless? Let's wait for him here. Do you know where he was when he called? I think he was in front of my house. Well, good, then he should be here soon. Oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, Hello. Hi. Yeah. You came. Yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> nice I'm to sorry see you about too. this, Oa. Oh, uh, do you have um, a ticket? Uh, I don't. Oh, then you should go with her. Oh, no, come on, Shiva. Uh, Why did you here in the first place? Oh, no, it's okay. I really think you should go with her since you've got that. This? Let's all go together. I can you go buy sure? another ticket. Oh, okay, yeah, okay then. Great. Thanks. This flower is for you. Oh my, Go on, take what is it. that for? Just take it. Here you go. No! Take it. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you hold I'm, on to it? I don't want it. it already. Jeez. Anyway, oh, are you going to buy me. a ticket? Yes, I will. Great. Oh, please mind the steps. I can't hold on to this while looking at an oh, artist. Stop. Exhibit. You can throw it away later if you want. Why we don't made you an effort to get it? you Come that. On, please, are you, you crazy? I won't hold that. It's meaningless in my hand. Oh, I swear. Ah, uh, there's so many paintings here. But I don't get them. What is this one called? Oh, it's my wheel. This uh, one's spring outing. It looks familiar. Mm. It's very much like that other painting yeah. back then. Look at the girl with glasses. Doesn't she look like you? You've got to be kidding me. It doesn't look like me at all. Shinwa. Hey, are you too thirsty? I can go get us something to drink. Uh, I'm fine. What about oh, it's you? All right. I'll buy some. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, thank you. Hey, I really think I should go now. No, you can't go. Oh, come on. I feel bad for Song Shahao. Those tickets were meant for you, too. You should have never asked me to come with you. Besides, I'm already tired. Those are my okay? tickets, and I wanted to see the exhibit those with you. Those weren't exactly your tickets. He gave you those tickets because he wanted to come here with you. Please don't go. If you leave, I'm going to feel awkward being alone okay, with him. Okay, look. You've already been to his house, and you've already gone out with him before. At this point, you should be able to look at paintings with him. Besides, if I stay here any longer, he'll be so disappointed. No, please All don't right, go. All right, stop, stop it. I've made up my mind I'm leaving. Okay, quiet. 
<laughs> hey. Hey. You got them. Here you go. They Here's your drink. Good. Try it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, oh. I, I just remembered that I, I have something to do at the oh. shop, so I should go. Yeah. Yes. You're leaving? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for the ticket. No problem. Listen, be nice. I'm leaving. Please uh, enjoy the exhibit. We will. <laughs> Thanks You're again welcome. for the drink. Uh, have a drink. I got your favorite lemon tea. Here. Let me get that for you. Here. I'll do it. Uh, Welcome to my humble abode, my dearest little aunt. <laughs> if I knew you were going to be filming nearby before oh? coming here, I would have laid out the red carpet from your location to give you a royal welcome fit for a queen. <laughs> Come on, that's too much. That's it. I thought you were going to be tired, so I prepared water and some fruit. Why, thank you. Will I make a good wife? It looks nice. <laughs> I heard you and mm -hmm. Anyang are engaged. <laughs> Kuchai, hmm? I came here because I wanted to tell you something. What um, is it? Well, it's something very important. All right, let's see how important it is. Chai, hmm? remember that you must use protection. Come on, don't be embarrassed. You know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> little aunt. <laughs> What's this? Is this what you're writing now, a movie script? Exotic and bad? What's this for? Just a net movie. Chai, you have so much talent. It's a pity that you have to do this kind of project. Oh, stop reading it. If you wanted to be a screenwriter, why didn't you tell me anything? I know some people who can help you get in. But I don't I'll need your help. Right now. No, don't. Wait. It's really not necessary. Screenwriting's just a hobby. That's all. Hey, for your wedding, how much do you want as gift money? Well, uh, uh, hang on. Weren't you talking about my career? So why are you... Little aunt, your thinking is so agile, I can hardly keep up with you. <laughs> anyway, Anyang and I haven't set a date yet for the wedding, but if you want to give us some money to wish us luck, you can give it to me now. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is exotic in Ben's doing. Hi. What are you doing here? Passing by, that's Just all. passing by? Yeah. <laughs> have a seat. Hang on, oh, I'll get right. you some water. Thanks. Red tea, if you have it. Okay. With sugar. You got it. <sighs> Smells good. Here, Pa. Thanks. Did you add the sugar? I did. White sugar. <laughs> I haven't dropped by recently to cook. Have you been eating? Of course. I... I learned how to cook. I can do everything now. <laughs> Did you contact Ma? I haven't. Ma told me what happened that day. She said you drove her out of the house and didn't call her at all. She was heartbroken. How can you just believe everything she said so easily? You, you haven't even heard my side yet. She left of her own volition. I simply didn't stop her from leaving. Nobody drove her out. It's her home. Can I drive her out? Hmm, have you ever thought about what you would do if she never came back? Huh? She can't live out there forever. She doesn't live outside. She's renting a house. She's renting a house? Yes. Maybe she found another man? Uh, what's with the reaction? Think about it. How could she not want to live at home and rent a house instead? You know, she must have met a man, and that man has his own house. What are you she can saying, live there Bob? for free. Can you stop have you ever this seen nonsense? this man? It's beyond ridiculous. She's your wife. How can you not know anything about her? Why else would she leave if not for a man? For so many years, no matter how angry I was, I never left home. Because I got no one outside. No place to stay. Do you think you can just change your bad temper, Pa, huh? Listen to me, my dear. Believe me, I'm telling you this with all sincerity. Your mother is not the only one whose heart was broken. 
You know it yourself. We have been married for more than 30 years. Now she's left me all by myself, without so much as a glance in my direction. She never said she'd never come back. She even said she might if you ask her. I'll That's give you a bunch of flowers, bring it to her, and say something nice. It's no use. Your mother will immediately know it was you who got her the flowers and not me. Tell me, has your mother been here? Of course, she's been here many times. Ah. So has she said anything? Does she want to go back or not? <sighs> Well, Mama said she needs a little time to calm down and think. I have an idea. The next time your mother comes by here, remind her of how good of a man I am. You know, uh, you should say something that would persuade her. Oh, tell her whatever you want. Tell her I regret it. <laughs> but please leave a little pride for me. <laughs> Come on, Pa. You should just tell her all of that yourself. You should visit her. I won't go. I'm a big man. I did nothing wrong. Why should I apologize to her? I if just... you don't want to tell her, then forget it. Come on, Pa. How do you know where I live? Zhao Wen told me. Uh, you must be uncomfortable here, right? This house is quite small. Okay, Xu Hui Chen, you've shown your resolve. It's been over a month. You must have calmed down by now. It's time to go home, don't you think? I'm talking to you, Xu Hui Chen. Xu Hui Chen! I won't go back. All right. You wanted to spread your wings, and you did it, right? You wanted some time to calm down and think about things, and you got it. You wanted peace and quiet, and you got those too. That's enough, huh? You don't care about these things. I know you very well, and you know me too. I didn't call only because I knew you needed time, not because I didn't care. I'm not huh? done thinking yet. You stay in here the whole day, all by yourself. I'm at home all day by myself, too, huh? Let me tell you, since I left home, I've learned how to cook my own meals, but yours tastes so much better, you know what I mean? I miss it so much. Huh, so all you want is someone to look after you, huh? No, what would it take to make you come back? Didn't you drive me out in the first place? You're the one who said you wanted to leave. Now you're saying I drove you out? Yes, I did say I wanted to leave the house, but it was only after you drove me out. Didn't you say that I should just disappear? Xu Wei Chen, are you still my wife? I don't know. It wasn't a big deal. Why are you so stubborn? What do you want? I'm still confused. I need more time to figure things out by myself. Your head's still up in the clouds. You're confused? You've been gone for a month and you're still confused? Listen, Xu Wei Chen, you can't be this shameless. <laughs> Did you just call me shameless, Chen Shi? Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're calling shameless? You want to live with me or not? Not anymore! We want a divorce. All right, can I see some ID, please? And your marriage certificate? Where's yours, Grandpa? Here. 
So you've been married for 30 years. Why do you want to get divorced? Irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences. I think that you should both calm down. Go home and talk it over. Just do it. Do it! <laughs> Didn't you say you wanted a happy life? But now everything's broken. <laughs> uh. Whose fault is it? Isn't this what you wanted all along? to look for you. I just got a call from Pa. I... Oh, Mama. Mama, please don't cry. It's all right, Ma. Don't be sad. Oh, Ma. Come on, Ma. You should sit for a while. Hey, Shofei, a glass of water. Come on, Ma, sit. Ma. Please don't cry. You can't let him affect you like this. You can't give in to him on everything. Okay? Our marriage is over. We filed for a divorce. But you've been together for a lifetime. You've both been through such hard times. And now when things have gotten better, you decide to divorce? I don't get it. Ma. You should try to focus on his good points, okay? I mean, I know. I know he has a bad temper and he has other faults, but Pa is still a good man. You know he came to see me the other day. He wanted me to ask you to go home to him. So he really does care about you. It's just hard for him to express his true feelings. Think about it. You've been with him for so many years, I'm sure that you're able to... to see through his facade. I admit he can sometimes be tyrannical at home. Even I felt suffocated. But he defends his family with the exact same fervor. Do you remember our old neighbor? They moved in next to us. For some reason, the woman kept bothering you even when you were doing nothing wrong. You'd be sitting quietly at home, and all of a sudden she'd be coming over, practically banging on the door and shouting, what are you doing? Do you remember what Pa did? He rolled up his sleeves and told her off. That's just the way he is. He's the kind of man who would never allow his wife and family to be bullied. In this way, he's a good man, right? Please don't be sad, Ma. Please. Do you think you can forgive Pa, huh? Come on, Ma. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, Pa's temper is really something. Can't he just learn how to control it? Ma, don't do it, okay? Don't divorce. The divorce is done. <laughs> no, you and Pa can't divorce. If you get divorced, our family will be broken. Ma, please, you can't do this. The holder. Xu Jianxie, divorce certificate number J220104, 
oh so soft. And you endure and suffer on your own. It's so easy to love, but not to keep it. So if you can, just allow it to leave. Big pair. <laughs> it's Shu Junshi. It's okay. I'm not busy. Have you eaten? I see. Want to go out for dinner? Sure, no problem. All right. All right. I'll call you later then. Okay? Bye. See you. of 30 years like he was a piece of garbage. But not everyone would see him like that. Someone might just pick him up, you know. I mean, think about it, okay? There are so many single women out there who are looking for men. That's right. It's entirely possible. And if he actually finds a young woman, you're going to regret divorcing him. Right now, you may feel nothing. But if he does remarry, right. you'll definitely be upset. I won't be upset. Because honestly, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me if he marries again. I really wish for him to be happy. Is she for real? I find that hard to believe. You seem sure of what you're saying, but anyone can say anything from the outside. Just wait till you're inside the church hearing him say I do. I really don't think you'll be able to bear it. You may think I left him suddenly, but actually, for me, it's been a long time coming. Many years, in fact. All throughout my marriage, mm. I've always been wondering. If it is my destiny to go through so much suffering. It's okay, Wei Chen. Don't be sad. Why don't is cry. it me? Why am I, I so it. unlucky? Why did I let him push me around? It's okay. Don't cry. I thought that maybe this is simply my life. Mm. And I should just endure it. But then when... My mom passed away. Mm. I suddenly felt something awaken inside my heart. I realize that life is very short. Every breath is possibly your last. Then your entire life just disappears in a flash. So I decided to live the rest of my life for myself. Or else it'll be too late. Call me selfish if you want. Do you think it's selfish of, of me? Of course not. You're not selfish. Nothing's wrong with you. Okay. Come on. It's fine. Come on, don't cry. That's great news. How wonderful. Okay, I will. Old man, I have great news. Chiai has gotten engaged. What did you say? Chiai is about to get married. Oh, oh, oh that's great. Weiwa called me just now. What? <laughs> Wait, Weiwa's also getting married? How could Weiwa be getting married? What are you saying? Chiai will get married. Right. Jeez, old man. Anyway, Good. I'm going to start making some kimchi yes, since Chiai's coming. She absolutely loves oh. kimchi. Wait, uh... 
old lady. Uh, oh, uh, what are you doing? Go slowly. Uh, Wait there for me. Uh, My goodness. Chiai's fiance. Uh, what does he do? He's a painter. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh, a okay, painter. Slowly now. I see. Okay, He's sister. a pea teacher. He's not a pea teacher. He's a painter. Oh. What are you thinking? What does painting have to do with physical education? Oh, huh? right. It's painting. Which means her fiancé's an art teacher. Just because he paints doesn't mean he's an art teacher. Mm. What simple thinking. Hey, hang on. You forgot to put in the cabbage. Don't you worry. I'll put Grandma. some in later. Oh. Grandma. Oh, there she is. Oh. I didn't know you'd bring your fiance. Yeah, My goodness. Well, I did. You brought oh. so many things. Hello. Nice to meet you. Right. Anya oh. insisted we buy all these for you. Oh, right. Come in. Just, come put, in. Them just in. put them there. That's, that's it. Okay, that's now come and sit. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. You must be tired. Well, that's very kind of you. <laughs> of course you're a guest. <laughs> oh, dear. You know something? Last time when I saw you taking a picture with Chiai, I knew right away you were meant for each other. <laughs> Did you get the certificate? Uh, no. We're not in a hurry. Oh, I brought him here so Grandpa could see him. I oh, see. then you hey, should introduce him to your Grandpa. What, what, what is his name? His last name's He. His full name's He Anyang. Ah, He. Oh. He Anyang. Right. You can just it. call me Xiao Ning. <laughs> Xiao Ning. It's uh, Xiao Ning. <laughs> Xiao Ning. You know, I was the one who brought Chai Yi up. So, I really hope that you two will have a happy marriage and a beautiful life together. <laughs> have some babies early, Grandma. as soon as you can. That way, I can help raise them, too. <laughs> there's no rush. Children aren't exactly a priority. What do you mean, there's no rush, Chai? We're in a rush, it's fine. right? Oh, right? What's your name? Uh, Xiao Niang. Uh, yes, Why sir. don't you and I go for Careful, a walk dear. and chat? Slowly yeah, Grandma, now. where? Ladies, we're just going to chat me and him. Uh -oh. It's fine, but... Kid. Uh, uh, Tell me, what do you do for a living? Uh, I paint. Don't mind. Oh. <laughs> hey, Grandma, is that for of me? Of course it's for you. <laughs> I know very well this is your favorite. So can you tell me how much you radish. earn in a month? Uh, Grandpa, in my line of work, the income is not fixed. Uh, some months we don't even get a penny, and some we get tens of thousands. Huh? How can you live on an income like that when it fluctuates to both extremes? Grandpa, uh -huh. the thing is... Uh -huh. There are times when we don't have to sell anything for half a year. We spend that time to create new works. And after we're done making them, they're put up for sale. And that's how we earn. I don't even need to bother with selling my paintings because I have a broker abroad. Oh, oh, Sit down. we even have a broker, huh? So, uh, where is your broker now? In Austria. Uh, <coughs> hey, kid. Yes? I have something... I need to tell you that maybe um, you're not going to like. But even if you don't, I still have to say, okay? You must not yell at Jai and never hit her. Grandpa, I can assure you I would never do such a thing. What do you think yeah. those two are talking about? Oh, just ignore them. Let them say whatever they want. I just don't know if Grandpa could hear Anyang. <laughs> he can hear him perfectly if he wants to. <laughs> don't worry, I'm the same. I'll go take a look. Okay. This is... What are you talking about, Grandpa? Uh, huh? We were just talking about young people. That's all. Xiaoyi, yes? I think that you've chosen your fiancé well. He's a nice young man <laughs> with great manners. I, I just don't know if he's as good in the inside. An young is very nice. <laughs> I see. <laughs> That's good then. All is well. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Chai Yi? Didn't you take Anyang to visit your grandparents? So why didn't you take him with you to visit your mother? Why did you come here all by yourself? My company's not good enough? I'm starting to figure something really? out here. What is it? With each passing day, you keep liking him a little bit more and more. Mm. You probably like him more than me now. If this goes on, you might even dislike me. Listen to me, Chai. I'm putting you on notice. You have been disowned, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the future, mm -hmm. if Anyang and I are fighting and you have to choose between us, whose side will you be on? Of course his. Did you think I was going to be on yours? Impossible. Oh. <sighs> Can you get that, please? Who is it? 
Oh, it's Uncle Xu. Oh, you talk to him. Okay. Hello, Uncle Xu. <laughs> Hi, Chai Yi. Where's your mom? Uh, my mom? Well, she... I'm busy. Just ask him what's wrong. Uh, is something wrong? Yes, can you tell your mom I need her to come over and cook dinner for me tonight? Uncle Xu asked me to tell you what? he wants you to cook for him. Tell him I'm not his wife. My mother said she's not your wife. Then tell your mom this. If she doesn't cook dinner for me tonight, her class monitor will starve to death. He says your class monitor will mm. starve to death. Just tell him I don't care. She says she doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what she said. All right, I will. Come on, Hang give on. me that. I've had enough of this nonsense. I'm tired of it. Can't you just cook for yourself? You're so annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Mutsu. <laughs> it's your class monitor. Well, isn't this rare? Why in the world are you calling me? C can you come over and cook for me? <gasps> what did you say? You want me to cook for you? Have you completely lost your mind? Aren't you afraid that I'll poison you? If you don't want to come, that's fine. There's no need for all this hostility. Hi, Mei Ling. Can you come over and cook for me tonight? Look at the state your house is in. It's really hard when the lady of the house suddenly goes on strike. What do you mean by that? What else could I mean? Why did you call and ask me to come and cook dinner for you tonight? Isn't it because your wife is on strike? Am I right? Listen, Xu Zhongshu, I don't want to say anything bad about Hui Qin, but I can't help hearing things. How could she have done something like this? I mean, you two have a lovely home, right? Besides, she's a middle-aged woman. And you have a good life together. Look around, it's quite obvious. But despite all that, she ran away from home and left you here all alone? I don't understand her at all. Are you just angry at each other? Or do you really want to divorce? It's done. Huh? What do you expect? This isn't child's play. Seriously? Yes. Oh my goodness, how could you two be so impulsive? You got divorced too quickly. It's just too easy to get.